Hello, welcome to episode 25 of my blind let's play of Shadow of the Erd Tree. I'm in the fog rift catacomb, chasing down the evil, villainous allies of Mesmer, the Impaler. Dude, are those bouncing? Holy fucking moly. Oh no! Now I'm starting to think this- oh, fuck me. I'm starting to think this is actually the way, like, forward in the dungeon. So I I'm just gonna have to go back and, uh, check those other areas after, I suppose. Oh, this one's quite a bit larger. I don't know that I'm gonna... Oh! <laughs> well, you fucking got me, didn't you, game? I mean, you fucking got me, didn't you, game? Oh shit. <laughs> that was actually fucking hilarious. <laughs> ah, I found the next hole to go into. I'm so smart. I'm not gonna get hit by the spike ceiling. Ah! <laughs> oh my god, that was funny. Dude, yeah, this is definitely one of the more fucking complex uh, catacombs. Not not as complex yet as some of them that I remember from like Lane Dell or uh, the mountaintops, but still quite a tricky one. Fuck me, man, that was too fucking funny. All right, I checked this one, right? Fuck it. Better safe than sorry. <laughs> okay. Hold on. I thought there was another one behind me. Three. Four. Five. Man, those things have a lot of defense. Yeah, I think these are easily some of the best parts of Elden Ring. I guess that's what a lot of people have said, that their favorite parts are the, uh, what do they call them, the legacy dungeons? Okay, let's see how much this does. Not that much. Alright, let's just heal for safety. Thing too. Uh, where did I come from here? I didn't check these all already, did I? I don't think I would have checked them while I was fighting the slimes. Kind of sad that my memory is that. Uh, 
flighty. Oh well. Okay, so we have a ladder up. So let's go this way first. Two of them. I mean, it's a good thing they're fairly weak. Oh, fuck. Oh my god, what the hell was that jump? Come on. I wonder if these things are weak to lightning. All right. Oh my god. Okay, electro charge. Could still be more slimes in here, honestly. Okay. Incantation. Calls down lightning to charge body with electricity. Didn't I already have an incantation like this in my other file? Like maybe it was a, a red one instead of a yellow one or something, but I, th I thought I already had one like that. Alright, so now we've explored the fucking hole. Let's see where this brings us back up to. Okay, that's where the stake of America is, right? Okay, I know where I am. I know where I am. That was a dead end. This is what leads down to the giant super slam room. Yes. Let's bait it down. <laughs> oh my god, that was funny. That was really funny. No hard feelings over that one at all. Peace. Okay.
Oh. Oh. Wait. So that's it? That's all there is down here. All I got was that electricity spell. Killed some enemies. Got some runes. Wait. Oh. Oh, 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 hold on. Let's fucking go. Okay. Where does it hit? Okay. You really gotta fucking convince it to drop. Well, what the hell? How do you get that to go fast enough? Or can I just stand here? Okay, okay, okay. Oh, man. I guess I gotta stand here and just hope it doesn't hit me. Jeez. Yeah, I keep getting nervous. No need to be nervous. Son of a bitch! I gotta fucking time that. A lot better. Oh, there's two separate ones, too. Oh, and there's a hole over on that side of the room, too. Hold on. I wanna go into that hole. That's what she said. Is there another hole over here? Did I just, uh... So which way goes forward now? I don't know. Let, let me just check this way and then... Man. Holy moly. I'm just gonna have to commit myself to doing more than one run of this dungeon. The boss. Looks like that's the boss room. I don't even mind. I like that there's like a crap load of stuff in this place. This wall. All right. Probably nothing other than this hole here, but I'll check anyway. like the remains of a checkerboard floor below me. Oops. Okay. Is 
second stake of America. Intense, man. Oh, man, look at my healing items. Oh, well. All right, let's go for it. Let's fucking go for it. Whoa. Oh. Okay. Double axes, lightning. I, I think this guy's not going to be too bad. Um, I was able to, like, actually stun him. Obviously not while he's doing his combos, but... Oh, quicker loading time, too. That's nice. Okay. Um, uh, I'll try it with the double swords for a little bit longer. It's like fucking Radagon with the double uh, lightning thing. God damn. Oh shit! No wonder I'm not fucking healing shit all. Okay, fuck you, man. Okay. Oh, he's got a grab. Okay. Did I duck? Oh my god! Fucking dog shit controller. Fucking pressed L3 by accident and I'm fucking ducking trying to run away. Fuck you, you pile of shit. So it seems like my uh, my jump attack with two weapons um, stuns him almost every time, which is pretty nice. God fucking damn, I made so many stupid mistakes in that one. Look how quickly that loads. Oh man, that just makes it all the more annoying that the other one loads fucking ten times slower. Dude, stun lock? Dude. Oh my god. Dude, what are you supposed to do against those fucking spinning attacks? You dodge once and you still get hit five times. Oh my god, so fucking stupid. And like, yeah, like when I buffer a fucking jump and the jump just doesn't come out, but then the attack comes out because the fucking jump input just got eaten. Because graphics. Like, what fucking morons... What fucking morons. All the people that decided graphics were more important than gameplay in this game and in general. And all the fucking players who think like that and who accept that. Just, just fucking stupidity. It's, it, it's just so degrading for humanity. You probably think that sounds insulting when I say shit like that, but I find it insulting 
to have to play a game like this. Where, like, there's so much potential, but it's all fucking lost. Dude! Like, just give me my fucking jump! So fucking stupid. I mean, it would be so much more tolerable if every time I pressed a button to try and do something, it actually happened. Why do I have to fight the fucking shittiness of the fucking game engine along with the enemy? Oh, literally this guy should be fucking dead already. Where's my fucking runes? Oh, I fucking missed them, so I, I lost like 90-something thousand runes. Fucking pile of shit. Just fucking jump when I tell you to jump. Yeah, that fucking combo is like impossible to fucking dodge. Uh... Thank you. Oh my god, I'm gonna die because no fucking jumps. No jumping allowed when you use the jump button. Fucking pile of shit. Wow, the Crimson Amber Medallion plus three is pretty cool.
Oh, I guess I could have put on uh, my stamina talisman. That would have helped. Oh, well. I, I could have had better armor on and stuff, too. Oh, well. What are these things? There was one at the bottom of Stormvale Castle. The fuck are those? Okay. Um. Uh, faith. Whoops. Ah, oh, fuck. Golden War Axes of Death Knight. A pair of weapons made to be wielded in both hands. Crackles with lightning, the power of the capital's ancient dragon cult. The knight, once the personal guard of Godwin, was also the protector of the Prince of Death's cadaver surrogate. Okay. Alright, well... I am not a faith user, so that's not useful to me, but still cool, I guess. So, I have several places left to explore in this dungeon, so let's do that. wonder how many runes I got from that guy. Come on now, come on now, come on now. Hundred and ten thousand, I need one twenty six. Ah, fuck it, just use them all. Couldn't even roll to get in there on time. Where's the second one? Oh my god. Okay. Right. Oh, fuck you. Oh, 
Oh my god. Are you fucking serious? Fuck you! What the fuck? Holy fucking shit, man. Okay, I feel like this... What the hell? Did the other guy drop down below? Yes. Okay, I feel like this is one of the directions I did not go. Or at least not fully. Because there's the knights up here, right? Yes. Fuck it, let's heal. Yell. Oh my god. It's one of those holy night guys. Oh, that's the first room. Oh, I know where I am. I know where I am. So I should try to get on top of that one if possible. Okay. Okay, let's... Hold on, is he facing me or no? I feel like no. Ha! <laughs> Are there two of them? Oh no. I had that feeling last second, I was like, wait a minute! If he's not facing me, they're, they're just trying to tempt me. One more. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. Playing this game kind of makes me want to play Ocarina of Time. I can really feel the DNA of... Oh, great. Ghost Glove War. Cool. I can really feel the DNA of, of Zelda games, but specifically Ocarina in this game. Like, all these catacombs feel kind of like the, sh the Shadow Temple. Okay, let's see if I can get on top of this giant spiky thing. Even these spiky things! Was, weren't the things like that in the Shadow Temple? Things that came and slammed down on you? Like, just, like, literally identical to these, just about. Yeah, I can definitely get on that. Awesome. And there's the payoff. Probably how I get back out. 
That's probably the room where I just got the great ghost glove wart. Who goes there? I smell your rotten asshole. Oh no. You had to earn getting here, so it's just pure reward. Black Knight Commander Andreas. Where are they? Oh. The Black Knights were the primary force of Mesmer's army. Their first leader was Andreas, a man endowed with great strength and command over the powers of the Crucible and whose spirit in these ashes dwells. Though he remained a devout follower of Mesmer after his flight from the Erd Tree, he would rebel after learning of his liege's serpentine nature. Ah, Mesmer is a betrayer. His righteous, or just untrue to his, uh, you know, his word, basically, his righteous stand was rewarded with imprisonment in an underground tomb. Oh. Oh, so was he the Death Knight? I don't know. Imagine that, just imprisoned in an underground tomb. Okay, two more places to check. Oh, should have timed that better. Okay, so one is up here. Oh, crap. This probably leads up to where that other fire guy, that initial fire guy was shooting at me from. I feel like I read about a lot of people complaining about the catacombs and the various, like, mini dungeons because they were all contained to one of, like, four or five archetypes, so they got repetitive in the way they looked. People complained about that in Breath of the Wild and Tears of the Kingdom, too, the way um, the shrines all looked the same. That never bothered me. I thought it was, uh... I thought it was cool. I mean, if I like the aesthetic the first time, I like it, you know, the 50th time. As long as the content of the dungeons isn't identical. But that that's just me, you know? Call me crazy. I'm substance over style. I mean, it's not like every area of the game looks like the exact same. It makes sense that they would make catacombs a certain, you know, of a certain style. Like, that was just the style that this particular society built catacombs in. It's like in Skyrim. All the Dwemer ruins have a similar architecture. All the Nord ruins have a similar architecture. Every cave looks like a cave. Uh, what else was there? There were a few others. Oh. oh, I just passed the first stake of America, didn't I? Yes. Okay, where's the second one? Oh. Oh, boy. Oh, wow! I had a feeling there was one in there, but I was like, no, I've already I've already seen them all in this room. Nope. Um, 
Um, okay, the next one is... Is this the next giant? Yeah. Just do this. Oops, left that guy alive. Ha 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 ha. Drop an item? No. Oh, that guy Nefarious that checks out my videos was saying that uh, if you do it right with uh, Rolana, the Twin Moon Knight, um, every proper punish window, you can get in like a rolling attack into... Oh shit, there's another one. Into either an R1 or a charged R2. I believe he said. So that's cool. I'll definitely go for that. Oh, <laughs> what? How the hell did that work? Oh, oh no, dude, that's one to make a short out of. Jeez, Louise. Okay, this is actually a little bit trickier than I thought. Let's leave some potential for getting. Ouchied. Okay, that was close. The thing is, okay, I gotta like back up and take a run at it and just time it well. Okay. Oh, so close. There it is. Oh, I see. And then I can get on top of it, too. Warp to a secret boss. Nope. <laughs> Ash of War Blink Bolt. Well, that seems like that's worth it. Lightning Affinity, the following skill. Skill used by the Golden Knights who served Godwin. From a low stance, the body is transformed into a bolt of lightning and charges straight ahead at fulgurous speed. Is that the one or a similar one to what was on this Blink Bolt Twin Axe? Cool. So I could put that on, not this weapon, but a weapon. Oh, oh, okay. Ha! Yes, there is another fo Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh, oh right, because there's more than one. Okay, there's nothing special over here, eh? Okay. So cool. Ladder, too. Man, this dungeon is quite uh, intricate. Very well designed, in my opinion. What the hell does that say? Stone sheathed sword. Ooh, that could be a strength weapon. It is a strength weapon. It's Oh, it's a straight sword, so it's a short sword. I would consider using that. A sword that none can pull from its scabbard of cracked stone. Oh, wow. Relic of a lost civilization from a time long past, said to have served a ritual purpose at altars of light and darkness. Square off. Square off. Is that a stance? Okay. Well, I guess I didn't need to take that off. Seem for such a fairly well hidden secret, this seems like not that great.
It is a stance. So I could use it with that stance relic. Huh. Like, I would love to have this right next to your basic straight sword and see what the stats look like. Like, does this thing even have any good stats? Kind of weird. Kind of weird, to be honest, that this is my reward so well hidden. Okay, what's down here? Because now that I've done this, I believe uh, I fully explored this dungeon. Oh my god. Okay, no! No! Oh my god. No! Oh, you're a fucking pile of horse shit, man! What the fuck? Fuck you! Oh, thank fucking god for that middle stake of America. Oh, that is so much better than starting at the beginning of the dungeon. It still sucks that I died, though. <laughs> ah, well. Oh my god! I don't want to lose that many fucking runes again. Dude! Fucking let me roll, you pile of shit! Fuck you. I forgot I didn't have my second sword equipped. Give me the item. Two fucking hits. Unfucking dodgeable once you get hit by the first one. Fuck you guys! Oh my fucking god, man. Whatever, if you're just gonna be a fucking dumb pile of shit, I'll just fucking run past everything. Why does my character have no fucking poise ever, by the way? F 
fucking holy shit man so bad fuck these dog shit fucking enemies down here Ghost Glove Wart. Fine. I uh, can I warp out now that I've beaten it? Yes. Oh, okay. All right. Let me end this episode here. I'm almost 54 minutes into this. for watching episode 25 of my blind let's play of the best shitty game around Elden Ring Shadow of the Erd Tree fuck you from software like comment share and subscribe to my video and my channel and everything else I've got going on see you in episode 26 that's all